live from Swap Media Day here with Jackson State offensive lineman Evan Henry. Man, Evan, first question is: You guys a little underrated this year, man. This has been the first time I think I've seen Jackson in the top two since you've been there, man. Has that put a massive chip on your shoulder seeing that? You know, Jackson's being a little bit overlooked by the SIDs and people who voted in the preseason poll. Um, not really. Um, I think uh, we got to go out there and either prove them right or prove them wrong every year. Uh, so I think this year we're just going to do it, do our best to prove them wrong, you know, uh, and get back to what makes Jackson State a great football team, and that's winning. Uh, being dominant, uh, great dominant defensive performances and high-scoring offensive performances. Last year on the offensive line, you guys had a lot of young guys step up. Mm -hmm. And you saw Quay Davis, our freshman All-American. You saw a lot of guys rotate in. Talk about this the development in the offensive line room at Jackson State and how much guys like yourself who have been around help in aiding those young guys learning quickly. Um, like you said, um, a, a lot of young guys last year had to step up and answer the call. Um, and I just had to do my best at um, helping them transition from being a high school player into a college starter, uh, whether that's, you know, uh, staying behind, watching the film with, uh, with them every after every practice, or uh, giving them little nugs to make uh, that makes them uh, you know realize the difference between what high school is and what college is. Offensive line coach, has there been a change in philosophy? Has it been a tough transition, or for you, is it just business as usual, just with the new offensive line coach? I think it's business as usual. Uh, coach Manning has did a great job at uh, coming in and leaving a mark on the program already. As far as uh, he came in, uh, ready to work guy that played in the NFL. So with that being said, somebody that um, has NFL experience um, and a guy with NFL experience is somebody that your guys want to listen to because um, he played in those big games. Uh, he been the, he was around the league and in a league for multiple years. So it makes you want to go uh, even harder for the person in front of you because uh, of what your coaches uh, are telling you to do. You know, um, the little nugs that he gives me is like, a miracle like I'm getting NFL coaching experience and a uh, college what's one thing in your game that you want to improve on going into next season I'm um, pulling um, I feel like uh, I haven't really shown what I can do um, as far as pulling um, get out in space and I think uh, this offseason I did uh, a lot of training on that as far as uh, getting out in space um, making good downfield blocks um, you know torching defenses um, by bit, moving more lateral you know what I'm saying um, because I think, you know, as far as my game has shown, um, I feel like I'm good at uh, the run blocking and pass blocking. I just need to show that I get out of space and run. Last question, man. I got a feeling I know the answer to this one. One game on the schedule you have served. The first one. Yeah. <laughs> ULM. I'm mean, very excited for it. Um, a great team. Um, I played there before, so get an opportunity to go back and, um, you know, play on that field. Um, for a team that gave me my first opportunity, uh, my first shot. Man, Evan. Looking forward to seeing what you guys do on the field this season, man. I appreciate you. Thank you so much.